Welcome, fellow enthusiasts. A growing cannabis can be incredibly rewarding, but it also comes with its fair share of challenges. One of the biggest obstacles for any grower is dealing with pests that can damage or even destroy plants. In this educational video, we'll be taking an in-depth look at some of the most common pests that affect cannabis plants. We'll cover how to identify these pests, the best methods for preventing infestations, and effective solutions for managing any outbreaks. Whether you're just beginning or an experienced cultivator, this video will provide you with the knowledge you need to protect your cannabis plants and ensure a healthy, productive growth cycle. Please don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Also, please remember that this is an educational video and therefore all information provided is for informational purposes only. Now, let's dive in and explore how to safeguard your cannabis garden from these pesky invaders. Chapter 1. Caterpillars Caterpillars are the larvae of moths and butterflies, and while they may seem harmless, they can cause significant damage to cannabis plants. These pests are often identified by their voracious appetite for leaves and buds, which can lead to severe defoliation and loss of yield. To identify caterpillars, look for irregular holes in leaves, caterpillar droppings on leaves or soil, and chewed buds. They are usually green or brown and can be found hiding under leaves or within buds during the day, becoming more active during the evening and night. Preventing caterpillar infestations involves regular inspection of plants, especially during the early stages of growth. Introducing beneficial insects such as ladybugs and parasitic wasps can help control caterpillar populations. Additionally, using physical barriers like row covers can prevent adult moths from laying eggs on your plants. If you find caterpillars on your plants, handpicking is a straightforward and effective solution. For larger infestations, biological pesticides like Bacillus thuringiensis can be used, as it specifically targets caterpillars without harming beneficial insects. Neem oil and insecticidal soaps are also useful in managing caterpillar infestations. Chapter 2. Fungus Gnats Fungus gnats are small, dark-colored flies that thrive in moist environments. Their larvae feed on organic matter in the soil and can damage the roots of cannabis plants, leading to poor growth and susceptibility to diseases. Identifying fungus gnats involves looking for tiny black flies hovering around the soil and looking for stunted growth or yellowing leaves. The larvae are difficult to see without magnification, but their presence can be inferred from the damage they cause to the roots. Preventing fungus gnats begins with proper soil management. Ensure the soil has good drainage and avoid overwatering, as gnats thrive in damp conditions. To control an existing infestation, yellow sticky traps can capture adult gnats, reducing their population. Additionally, introducing beneficial nematodes to the soil can help eliminate larvae. Similarly, applying a layer of diatomaceous earth to the soil surface can deter adult gnats from laying eggs and kill larvae as they hatch. Chapter 3. Spider Mites Spider mites are tiny arachnids that can be devastating to cannabis plants. These mites are barely visible to the naked eye, only appearing as tiny moving dots on the leaves. They will suck the sap from the plant, causing leaves to yellow, wither, and fall off. Severe infestations can significantly reduce yield and even kill the plant. To identify spider mites, look for tiny white or yellow spots on the leaves, fine webbing on the undersides of leaves, and a general decline in plant health. Preventing spider mites involves maintaining a clean growing environment and regularly inspecting plants. Keeping the humidity levels high can deter spider mites, as they prefer dry conditions. If spider mites are discovered, it's crucial to act quickly. Pruning and disposing of heavily infested leaves can reduce the mite population. Introducing predatory mites, such as Phytocelus persimilis, can help keep spider mite populations in check. Additionally, miticides and insecticidal soaps can be used. However, they must be applied thoroughly to reach the undersides of leaves where spider mites typically reside. Reside. Neem oil is another effective treatment, disrupting the mites' reproductive cycle and reducing their numbers. Chapter 4. Aphids. Aphids are small, soft-bodied insects that can be green, yellow, black, or brown. They feed on the sap of cannabis plants, causing leaves to curl, yellow, and stunt plant growth. Aphids also excrete a sticky substance called honeydew, which can attract other pests and lead to mold growth. 
Identifying aphids is relatively easy due to their size and the colonies they form on the undersides of leaves and stems. You might also notice ants, which are attracted to the honeydew aphids produce. Preventing aphids involves regular monitoring and maintaining plant health. Introducing beneficial insects such as ladybugs, lacewings, and predatory wasps can help control aphid populations. Planting companion plants like marigolds and garlic can also deter aphids. For controlling aphids, spraying plants with a strong stream of water can dislodge them from leaves. Insecticidal soaps and neem oil are effective treatments, suffocating the aphids and preventing them from feeding. For severe infestations, introducing natural predators and using organic insecticides can provide long-term control. Chapter 5. Leaf Miners Leaf miners are larvae of various insects that burrow into and feed on the leaves of cannabis plants, creating winding, discolored trails. These pests can weaken plants, reducing their photosynthetic ability and overall health. Identifying leaf miners is straightforward due to the distinctive patterns they leave on leaves. Look for serpentine or blotchy trails, which are usually white or light-colored, contrasting with the green of the leaf. The larvae themselves are small and hidden within the leaf tissue, making them difficult to spot directly. Preventing leaf miners involves maintaining plant health and employing regular inspections. Encouraging natural predators such as parasitic wasps can help keep leaf miner populations in check. Additionally, using floating row covers can prevent adult insects from laying eggs on your plants. If an infestation occurs, removing and destroying affected leaves can help reduce the population. Insecticides containing spinosad or neem oil can be effective against leaf miners. Applying these treatments consistently will help manage the problem and protect your plants from further damage. Chapter 6. Grasshoppers Grasshoppers are large, voracious insects that can quickly defoliate cannabis plants, especially in outdoor groves. These pests are mobile and can move from plant to plant, causing extensive damage in a short period. To identify grasshoppers, look for large holes in leaves and the presence of the insects themselves, which are usually green or brown and easily visible. They tend to be most active during the day, making them relatively easy to spot and monitor. Preventing grasshopper infestations is challenging due to their mobility. Maintaining a clean grow area by removing weeds and debris can reduce habitat suitability for grasshoppers. Introducing natural predators such as birds and beneficial insects can also help control their populations. When dealing with an active infestation, physical removal of grasshoppers can be effective. Insecticidal sprays containing neem oil or pyrethrin can provide additional control. For larger scale infestations, using baited traps with bran mixed with an insecticide can help reduce grasshopper numbers. Chapter 7. Root Aphids Root aphids are small, sap-sucking insects that feed on the roots of cannabis plants. They can cause significant damage, leading to stunted growth, yellowing leaves, and reduced yields. These pests are often mistaken for nutrient deficiencies or root rot due to their similar symptoms. Identifying root aphids involves inspecting the roots for small oval-shaped insects which can be white, yellow, or brown. The presence of honeydew and sooty mold on the soil surface can also indicate a root aphid infestation. Preventing root aphids starts with using clean, sterilized soil and growing media. Introducing beneficial nematodes to the soil can help control root aphid populations. Maintaining optimal soil moisture and avoiding overwatering can also deter these pests. To manage an existing infestation, growers will spray the soil with insecticidal soaps or neem oil can be effective. Introducing predatory insects such as rove beetles and predatory mites can provide biological control. Consistent monitoring and treatment are crucial to eliminating root aphids and protecting your plant. Chapter 8. Broad Mites Broad mites are tiny, microscopic pests that feed on cannabis plants, causing distorted growth, curled leaves, and stunted development. They are challenging to detect due to their small size and can cause significant damage before they are noticed. Identifying broad mites requires close inspection of the plant's new growth. Look for symptoms such as twisted, brittle leaves and russet-colored spots. Using a magnifying glass or microscope can help spot the mites themselves, which appear as tiny, translucent creatures. Preventing broad mites involves maintaining a clean grow environment and regularly inspecting plants, especially during periods of new growth. 
Introducing predatory mites such as Neoceilus cucumeris can help keep broad mite populations under control. If broad mites are present, treating the plants with miticides or insecticidal soaps can be effective. Neem oil sprays can also help manage broad mites. Ensuring thorough coverage of all plant surfaces is essential for successful treatment. Chapter 9. White Flies White flies are small, white-winged insects that feed on the underside of cannabis leaves. They excrete honeydew, which can lead to the growth of sooty mold and attract other pests. White flies can cause yellowing leaves, reduced vigor, and lower yields. Identifying white flies is relatively easy due to their visible presence on the undersides of leaves. When disturbed, they will fly up in a cloud, making them hard to miss. The presence of honeydew and sooty mold can also indicate a white fly infestation. Preventing white flies involves maintaining a clean growing environment and using yellow sticky traps to monitor and capture adult white flies. Introducing beneficial insects such as ladybugs, lacewings, and parasitic wasps can help control white fly populations. To manage an active infestation, spraying plants with insecticidal soaps or neem oil can be effective. Ensuring thorough coverage, especially on the undersides of leaves, is crucial. Repeated applications may be necessary to fully control white flies and protect your plants. Chapter 10. Thrips. Thrips are small, slender insects that feed on cannabis plants by scraping the surface of leaves and sucking out the contents. This feeding behavior causes silvery streaks or spots on leaves, leading to reduced photosynthesis and overall plant health. Identifying thrips involves inspecting leaves for silvery or bronze-colored streaks and spots. Thrips themselves are tiny and can be yellow, brown, or black. Shaking an infested plant over a white sheet of paper can help dislodge and reveal these pests. Preventing thrips involves regular monitoring and maintaining a clean grow area. Introducing predatory insects such as minute pirate bugs and predatory mites can help control thrip populations. Using blue sticky traps can also help monitor and reduce thrip numbers. If an infestation occurs, spraying plants with insecticidal soaps or neem oil can be effective. Ensuring thorough coverage of all plant surfaces, including the undersides of leaves, is essential. Biological control agents like predatory insects can be introduced to provide long-term management of thrips. Successfully managing pests in your cannabis garden requires a proactive approach, combining regular monitoring, preventative measures, and effective treatments. By understanding the habits and identifying features of pests, you can take swift action to protect your plants and ensure a healthy and productive grow. We hope you found this guide helpful and informative. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share it with fellow enthusiasts. Your support helps us create more content to assist you in your educational journey. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you and look forward to continuing providing valuable information for your educational needs. Thanks again for watching and stay curious.